need not be adequate. But you know, when we begin to highlight things like this, I mean, that's essentially what begins to let people say that this bill is a keg of gunpowder. Uh, because I don't know if you've seen the reaction that, you know, has been on social media. First of all, I, d I think there's another bill. There seem to be quite a number several. of these bills there are three. in the National Assembly. Yes, there's one by Honorable Dixon, which is talking about ranching. Mm -hmm. I think there's another one here. By Karimi. From, yes, uh, from, by Karim Sunday, I think. Yeah, Karimi Sunday yeah. and his own bill and my own bill are, are similar, similar but not the same. Okay. Now, Karimi, Abrex, let me explain. Yeah. Let me explain the three. Karimi was the first person to submit his bill. He said he wants grazing reserve as well as cattle root. As then well as what? Cattle root. Cattle root, yes. Yes. That's what's here. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, from, uh, from Benue State, understandably so, Mr. Um, Dixon, mm -hmm. said he wants ranching, mm -hmm. which is supposedly private land holding. Mm -hmm. And then my own, is talking about grazing reserves and discouraging cattle roots. So what is, is the difference between grazing reserves and ranching? Ranching is a private land ownership and smaller in size than uh, grazing reserve. Smaller in size? Is there a standard size for that? Yeah, there should be because if we say private individuals, we expect that people that do not have the money to buy large expanse land can keep a small holding in a smaller area. So what if they choose to have a small one? If they who? If they choose to have a small that's a ranch. Land. Okay. No. Now, that, you, that's you, you've, you've explained some of the differences. You've also tried to highlight because I heard you talk about uh, you know the decree of the land use act. Not a decree anymore. It is in the constitution. Okay. Now you say that it, the, the the land belongs to the people of the state. Yes, which the governor is holding in trust for the benefit of Nigerians. Exactly. The land belongs to the people of the state. I yes. think that we must not look at that in no, 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 no. in passing. No, no, no. There the is state, definitely no, 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 no. Uh, excuse me, excuse that. me. The state referred to in the land is, uh, is the Nigerian state. Huh? Huh? Yeah. When we know that we have in that same constitution, we have Ogun State, yes. Lagos State. <laughs> yes. You know, we yeah. all we, and the federal capital territory you know, is also you know, recognized you know, almost as a state yes the constitution seems to be very clear mm. differentiating between the states mm. and nigeria mm. as a country yes but the state is in nigeria i think let's not get something uh, you know twisted here mm. it is usually or it is when you talk about international relations mm. between countries and countries mm. that the word state refers a moment I'll, I'll give you time that mm. the word state refers to countries mm. but within a nation mm. the word state for in the place of this in the constitution mm. refers to each state mm. of the federation so if the uh, you know writers of that constitution mm. uh, we are going to say something about the nation or mm. the country mm. Uh, they, they explicitly put it there. So, mm. but the, in this case, it is talking about the state. So let me not and that is why, I, I'll let you in on this. That is why mm. uh, in today's headlines, mm. you've heard stories, I mean, headlines, you've seen news, for instance, that of Oyo State, everyone is saying that, well, they don't have allocation or they don't have space for that because it is about the state making up the federation of mm. the country. Mm. You see, the, 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 the problem here is that most people do not know there is a 1965 law in this country that has already created 145 grazing reserves in Nigeria. And there is one in oil. There is one in Ogun State. It's typical of anything Nigerian. People don't maintain even a pipe bone water in your own home. You don't maintain it if it busts. People because when that law was made in 1965, perhaps Nigeria was less than 100 million. Today we're talking about over 175 million. What was people. that constitution? The law you're talking about? It's a Nigerian law. Yeah, which of the laws? I mean, the constitution? I'm talking about grazing reserve law that established grazing reserves in Nigeria. 145 of them. Today there are less than 100 that can still be identified. If that's because the case, why are you coming up with a fresh bill? No, no, I'm coming up with a fresh bill because that law 
is observed in the breach rather than in, uh, in the observance. So if the then, then we don't need a new one, then yeah. you just need to highlight it or uh, you're a lawmaker, it's either you mm -hmm. highlight it, you bring it before uh, the National Assembly's no, no, no. attention. The problem you run into if you bring that one is that already there are people living on the grazing reserves. What are you going to do with them? You are going to create more problem if you, uh, if, if you try to evict them. I'm from very where happy they are. that you realize that when that law was created, Nigeria's population was not that much. Now, you're, we're talking about close to 100 and is it 75 million now we're beginning to talk about. And a lot of people have expanded. We're even looking for land for farming mm -hmm. in some cases in terms of what people will eat. Mm -hmm. And it will seem that these clashes are increasing in number because uh, they're beginning to pass this nomads are beginning to pass where uh, you know farmlands have now been created maybe they where they were not in existence maybe some years back mm -hmm. and so we be increasingly beginning to see conflict how do you honestly hope that you know every state because I have seen honorable Karim uh, the bill, bill mm -hmm. his own proposal mm -hmm. and he's saying that the 36 states I mean, I don't know if your bill has that as well, that a representative must be taken from each state, including the federal capital territory, to be members. Do you have that as well in your bill? Of course. That's what my you're suggesting bill, as well. My if bill. that is the case, mm -hmm. how do you think that states who honestly, especially states that are, are saying they are short of land and, you know, do not have enough land, in some cases they are challenged with, uh, with land in some states and they are beginning to look elsewhere, even in other states, to buy land to be able to get, you know, farmland to feed. Don't you think that, that will be a challenge? Maope, the unused land in Nigeria is almost 10 times more than the land that we are using. What Take I'm saying, I'm what coming, I'm saying I'm is, it, it, you're talking about Nigeria as a whole. You're not yes. being specific as to areas. I'm saying that some states have land challenges. Mm. Do we acknowledge that? We, we acknowledge that. But my point is this. We have to address the root causes of the problem. Perhaps those states that have small landmass will appreciate why they need a cattle ranch or a cattle grazing reserve in their own area. Pardon me, but what do you think is the root cause? Fine. Two issues. We have over, over a thousand kilometers of border that we cannot police. Most of these people that cause mayhem are not Nigerians. Even we that are the sedentary Fulani, we are afraid of them. Nigeria cannot police its own borders. One. Number two, Nigeria is a signatory to ECOWAS protocol of free movement of humans and goods within the territory. Number three, we have allowed for too long our agriculture in the hands of peasants. You ask everybody on the street, even on the street, he will tell you that 70% of Nigerians are, involved, are, are employed in agriculture. But how come that 70% population cannot feed a nation? We are still importing. It's simply because we have left our agriculture in the hands of people who go to farm with, with, with uh, a cutlass at home. So uh, let, me, let me make this point. These people that you see with cattle, they are also peasants. They are also peasants. The heart of a cattle, heart, one heart, starts from 30, 35. Those are cattle brought by uncles, aunties, sisters, brothers to make one heart. If you ask them, because I hear people say they, they, are, they are in business, therefore they should, be, they, 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 should, they should buy their own land and ranch the cattle. These people are not in business. The sedentary full animal look at a cattle as an exotic animal. I have them. I think I have to come in there. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll let you uh, continue because uh, uh, f the argument is strong on whether they should buy that land or not. Uh, and if you look at it, for those who are on the other side, they have a big point. You have to buy the land. Uh, if you say I'm from state A and I decide to go into farming, is either I get a lease from the government or I get to buy the land. I don't walk into any, you know, land and I say I want to start farming and I take it up. Because that is what uh, it seems that uh, some of the Fulani herdsmen are doing. You come to a place, a community, 
and you just take it over. And people are saying, when you talk about grazing rights or bail, this shouldn't even see the light of day. They should be talking about how they can get a property ranching system, or if you think that you want your own reserve, then if the government can't get that for you, then the community can also come together the way they have come together to get ahead and get their own plot or acres of land. In a, a system whereby the man in my small community or your small village has gone ahead to get his or her land uh, to farm and the herdsman comes there to destroy the crop or decide to say these are you know feeds for his cattle uh, is what is causing some of the problems we're having here. Absolutely, I, 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 I agree with you. That is why we need to address the root causes. What's I the root cause? The root cause is, a, is the fact that Nigeria cannot police its borders. And these people cross over the border. How can you, how can, how can you, how can you, when they, it's when they arrive here that they cause the mayor. Why don't we stop them from coming in, from the border? We can't, because we don't have the police, we don't have the immigration officers, we don't have the wherewithal to police this border.